all right so um welcome and in this video we are going to see how to apply what what we learned over here so what what we what we we went through the in the other video was just to make us know how to solve um um transport equations so we we went through the tedious part so it's, it's just a matter of just applying to uh, applying it over here and you don't need to actually um, suffer so much all right so you don't really have to be thinking about the, the all the the steps we went through it's just so simple so you can actually liken this partial dif differential equation to a transport equation and it is actually a transport equation with three with three being the speed okay so um negative three sorry negative three being the speed of of the um equation okay yeah so that's it yes yeah so it's three so this is what we're gonna do we we got to see that um anytime you have um, um a transport equation any transport equation you don't need to really worry you, you you realize that the solution to this equation was equal to f of s and you know what this s is if you haven't watched the other video go and watch it f of s and this s was actually x minus c t okay so um C standing for the um, the the speed of the transportation or the speed of the body which is transporting. Okay, so the speed of the whole body or the wave or what you can whatever you're gonna say. So from here, my C is equal to minus three. So the solution to this is just going to be f of x minus negative 3t and this is going to be f at x my uh, plus 3t right isn't it yes so this is just a solution to the um, differential equation which is very simple so with the help of the initial conditions you can actually solve it and then um, you just plug in the values and you, you, you're, you're just done okay so with the initial conditions, I know u of x zero is equal to f at x being equal to zero, so um, t being equal to zero. So I have f of x being equal to e to the minus x squared. So I have a rule which is mapping x all the domain to the this right whatever value you are going to get, get here that becomes the image so it means that if i'm to look for this function i just have to put in all these values and where i'm going to see x right so if f of x is equal to this then f of x plus 3t is just going to be equal to e to the minus x plus 3t all squared okay and since f of t f of x plus 3t is equal to the um, solution which is u into bracket x plus uh, xt i can actually conclude that the solution to this equation um, this um, the transport equation we have there is e to the power minus x plus 3t all squared so there's the solution to the transport equation very simple so let's take another example and with this example i'm going to make it a bit um so so i have two two ut plus i have two ut oh sorry two ut plus five ux being equal to zero and my initial conditions are my oh sorry my initial conditions u uh, of x zero and that is equal to um 
1 divided by 1 plus e to the power x, right? Yeah, so this is the question. I have 2u t plus 5u x is equal to 0. So this is a first order differential equation. And once you have a first order differential equation, um, you can actually, if, if it only contains these derivatives, if they are of this form, then you can convert it into a, um, 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 a transport equation. So in converting this one into a transport equation, I will have to divide both sides or divide each term here by 2. So I'll be getting 2 ut plus 5 over 2 ux, and that should be equal to 0, all right? So from here, I know c to be equal to 5 divided by 2, isn't it? So my solution, you know that my solution, u of xt, is just going to be a function of um, 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 a function of um, s, and s is x minus c t, where my c is actually 5 on 2. So there's going to be f of x minus 5 divided by 2 t. So I have my initial conditions over here. So I can just, I can just finish it. I can just um, find a solution. X zero is going to be whatever T is zero. So I have F of X and that's going to be equal to whatever I see here, one divided by one plus E to the power X, right? Yes. So, um, once I have this, I can just say that f of x minus 5 out of 2t is going to be, wherever I see x, I'm going to put this whole thing over there. So, 1 divided by 1 plus e exponent x minus um, 5 over 2t. And this is the um, solution to your to your differential equation so u of x t is equal to the this um, um, solution so this is how we, we go about solving um, transport equations very simple so in our next video we are going to talk of um, other types of first order differential equations where you are going to have interactives and we are going to talk of some methods of solving them generally. We have the method of characteristic and we also have the um, method of change of coordinate. So um, we are going to pick something from the um, the general um, um, solution. Um, trying to When we're trying to prove the general solution of the transport equation, we're going to pick something from there. And I'm going to use that to explain the two uh, types of or the two ways of um, solving um, first order differential equations which are not of or which do not actually look like the transport um, um, equation. All right, so see you in the next video. Okay.